Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my bookish life. Today I have just a small unboxing for you for some cool reasons, like one really cool reason. Um, and I'm just really way too excited. So let's get to it. <laughs> so this is my November book. I got This Spells Love by Kate Robb. And this is about a young woman trying to heal her heartbreak by casting a spell to erase her ex from her past, but wakes up in an alternate reality, re an alternate reality in which she'd lost more than she wished for in this witty, whimsical Friends to Lovers debut. I think like her best friend like forgets that she exists or something I don't it just sounded really whimsical and cute and I really enjoyed the X hex and that kind of made me think of it too like a spell gone wrong kind of a thing it just felt like a good decision uh, so you know you want to keep going is <laughs> the bookmark this month which true story and then I put in an order to Better World Books because I read the book, this book, Fourth Stall, with my sixth and seventh graders. And they really enjoyed it. It was hilarious. Um, it kind of has a like old timey detective voice to it. At least that's the way I read it to them. <laughs> But it's about this sixth grade, or maybe he's seventh grade. I don't actually remember. Um, sixth or seventh grader. And he, <laughs> he, through circumstances that are absolutely hilarious, ends up using the fourth stall of the East Wing bathroom of the school as his office. And kids come to him when they need advice and when they need help with anything. He is just kind of there. There it is. Oh, I had it somewhere. Come on. He will help them out for a price. That's this whole thing. And they are approached by a third grader who is kind of involved in this illegal gambling thing. It's very far-fetched, but so hilarious and so wonderful. And I have the first two books in this series. And unbeknownst to me, there are actually three books in the series. So I had to get part three since I found it on Better World Books. If you don't know about Better World Books, it is a wonderful wonderful organization that for every book you buy or every purchase you make they donate books to someone less fortunate so it just is a wonderful wonderful way to feel like i'm doing something good with my book buying tendencies <laughs> if you're interested in learning more i will have the link down in my in the description it's always down there um, it's a refer a friend link, which does give me, I don't know, it gives me a little bit of something, but it is a really cool business, a really co cool program, and I have not found a reason to not use them yet. So um, they do sell a lot of used books. It usually will tell you. It told me that this was a library binding. I knew it was going to be a library binding. It looks to be in pretty good shape, and it is the third book in the fourth stall. So hopefully now that they know I have this that'll make them pick up the second book by themselves we'll see though the other one that I picked up is the monster at the end of this book my I can't find my copy of this book anywhere and I absolutely love this book the 3k t-shirt and I use this book for our reading buddy um, between the 3kers and the 8th graders which is just the best combination in the entire world I'm just gonna say it Although I can think of a lot of other ones too. But this book is fabulous. It's one of my favorites growing up. If there was a book that like formed me as a reader and how I read and how 
I enunciate while I read and put emotion and love into what I read. It's this book. It's this book right here. I love it so much. Uh, Grover is freaked out because he's sure that there, he knows that there's a monster at the end of this book. So he does everything he can to get you to stop turning the pages. And it's just fabulous. I have had students do this for solo acting and forensics. And it's just, it's, it just, it was worth it. It was worth it because I was getting the fourth stall, the third part, part three, you know, it just, it was, it was good. Uh, and then I also picked up another Who Would Win. This is the Tarantula versus the Scorpion, which I think is a fascinating pair. Um, so I think that this is going to be one that my students can bring with them. Two reading buddies with the first grade and the second grade have really been loving the, read, to read this with their buddies. So my kids have been reading a lot of <laughs> Who Would Win to their younger buddies. And then... I picked up a copy of Shoning at the Rain by Linda Mullally Hunt. This book I read this summer during catch -up -a -thon. It was also my buzzword because it had a weather word in it. And it was so much fun. There was, I just, I really, I really enjoyed it. I talked about it in my catch -up -a -thon vlog for sure, but I loved how everything in this book came around to the metaphor of the rain and it just it worked so well and was beautifully written and I loved it and then I picked up a memoir so this is Mitch Albom's memoir Have a Little Faith and it's a true story and I love Mitch Albom's writing I love Tuesdays with Maury first of all and I just you know picked it up. He offers a beautifully written story of a remarkable eight-year journey between two worlds, two men, two faiths, two communities that will inspire readers everywhere. An 82-year-old rabbi from Album's home, old hometown asked him to deliver his eulogy. I mean, that sounds cool. I here for it. So that is my haul from Better World Books. Um, I got all of these for a fairly reasonable price. Can't think of what it is at the top of my head. I want to say $25 is free shipping. So I usually put aside $25 when I'm going to put in an order um, so that I can get the free shipping because I would rather get an extra book than pay for the shipping. So that's just my philosophy there. All right. And then this. <laughs> friends, I made a new friend on booktube. Um, Katie from I Would Rather Be Reading is one of the co-hosts with me for um, Rainy Blue Reads Get a Clue Readathon. And it is a great group of co-hosts. Let me tell you, but Katie was doing sprints and while she was doing sprints, she reached 200 followers and did an impromptu getaway. Get did an impromptu giveaway and I won <laughs> which congratulations to Katie for 200 subscribers that is wonderful if you are not just not subscribed to her I will have her information down below and you should absolutely go and you should absolutely subscribe to her I sent her the link to my wish list and she chose something off my wish list to send to me. So I have no idea what this is. And I'm so excited. I don't see any pieces of paper. Oh! <laughs> the Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. Um, her book sounds so good. I have the dead romantics. I haven't read it yet. Um, that is a book that I want to read yet this year, but this one sounds so good. Sometimes the worst day of your life happens and you have to figure out how to live after it. <laughs> Who has not been there? 
For Clementine West, that means burying her head in her work as a book publicist, being practical, and forgetting the silly things her beloved aunt and nail and na- Analia taught her, like living wide and chasing the moon. Clementine would rather stay grounded and keep her heart safe. For the last six months, she's been doing just that. But when she moves into her late aunt's apartment and finds a strange man standing in the kitchen, a man with kind eyes, a southern drawl, and a taste for lemon pies, her well-laid plans begin to fall apart because he's the type of man who, before it all, she would have fallen head over heels for, and she still might, except he exists in the past. Seven years in the past. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so intriguing. Uh, yes, please. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you so much. So excited for this. I, you know, really shouldn't put it too far away. And I should really try to get to both of these books <laughs> in the very near future. Because they both sound wonderful. Okay, that's all I have for you for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a great time opening these and talking about these books. I'm so excited for all of them. Let me know your thoughts on any of these books down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, I'd love it if you subscribed. I hope you're finding something wonderful to read. And until next time, Happy reading. Bye.